So today we're talking about 5.4 in our textbook, which is like terms. Now, like terms are terms containing exactly the same variables. The variables don't need to be in the same order to be like terms, but there needs to be exactly the same amount of them. Okay, so we're only talking about the variables here. We're not actually talking about the coefficients. So you need to uh, make sure that we are just talking about the variables. So this vari these variables, A and B, see it's got the variables of A and B and A and B. They are like terms, even though their coefficients are different. So you've got a 5 and a 3. Um, which we're just looking at the variables when we're talking about like terms. Okay, now 4A and 7b are not like terms because their variables are different. You've got an a and a b. Now this one here, this last one, it's very important to understand that it can be in any order. So here we've got a, c, b and b, a, c. Even though they're in a different order, there's still only one a, one b and one c. So there's an a, b and a c and an a, b and a c. They are like terms because they've got exactly the same amount of variables and the same variables, A, B, and C. Right, so what we're going to look at doing today is collecting and combining like terms, okay? So they can be collected and combined within an expression to create a simpler expression that is equivalent. So we can add them together or take them away from each other. So only the coefficients are added. The variables remain the same. Okay, so you can see in this example here, we've got 5 a and b and 3 a and b. The variables are, st are both a and b. We only add the coefficients. So 5 plus 3, it equals 8 a and b because we've got um, three A's, so pretty much we've got A, 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 and three B's, B, 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 and here we've got five A's, two, three, four, five, and five B's. Okay, so we're together, we've got eight A's and eight B's, which is eight A, B. All right, now this other example here, so three X plus and five X, so we're remembering that we're only adding the coefficient. So 3 plus 5 is 8x. Because when you've got 3x's and 5x's, the total number of x's is 8. So that is how we simplify and collect the like terms. OK, so. If they do not, if the terms do not have exactly the same variables, they must be kept separate. So you cannot combine terms that are not exactly the same. So for example here, 3x and 5y, you can't simplify that any further. The expression just needs to be left at 3x plus 5y. Now, what I want you to do is see if you personally can understand this yourself. I want you to pause the video and circle or write down the pairs of like terms below. So which of these are exactly the same and they have exactly the same variables? Okay, so I am going to circle this one because 3x and 2x is exactly the same variable. They both have just x. Now, the next one, 3a and 3b, no, they are different. They have different variables. 2ab and 5ba, well, they are the same because they've both got one a, they've got an a and a b as their variables. 4k and k, yeah, well, they both have k, yeah. And they don't have anything else, so that they are like terms. 2a and 4ab, no, they're not the same because even though they've both got a, the second term has a B, so that is not, they are not like terms. And the last one here, 7AB and 9ABA, they are not like terms because they don't have exactly the same amount of variables. Okay, so when we are combining like terms, we need to 
remember, so if we have a big equation here like this expression down here, um, we need to remember that the addition or subtraction sign in front of the term is part of the term, okay? So I'm going to circle the um, terms in this expression here. So we've got 13a, that's a term, plus 5ab is a different term. We've got minus 6y, that's a different term, plus 2ab, that is all one term, and minus 7a is a different term. So really, really important. You are going to go wrong if you do not remember this, that the uh, addition or subtraction sign in front, so this addition sign, this subtraction sign, addition sign, subtraction sign, that in front of the term is part of the term behind it. Okay, very, very important. Right, so write down these steps for combining like terms. Then you can refer back to them and follow these steps when you will have to do your work so that you can practice and get competent at doing this. So we first of all have to identify the like terms and I'm going to do that by putting like a square around one and a circle around another or underlining a different one. So all of the circles will be the like terms, all of the ones I underlined they will be all like terms. Then once we've identified the ones that are the same then we need to rewrite the expression combining all the like terms together. Okay, So making sure that they're all written next to each other. We're not starting to add anything yet, we're just writing the expression out again so that we can then do it correctly when we add and subtract. Remembering that the addition or subtraction sign in front of the term is part of the term. Then, after that, step three is combining the terms together to simplify that, the expression like we did earlier in the video and adding or subtracting the terms where required. So we're going to have a go at this. Okay, so we're going to collect the like terms. Now, first of all, I need to identify the ones that are the same. So we've got in this one 7b and 3b are the same. Whoops, well, look what I did see. That is part of it. All right, so naughty Mrs. Ray. Okay, now. So the 2 is a constant, it's not, it's not the same, it hasn't got a variable with it, so it is not the same. So then we rewrite the term, the expression, 7b plus 3b plus 2. Then we can combine them together, 7 and 3 is so it's 10b plus 2, and that is our final answer. Okay, that was quite a simple one, let's try another one here. So we've got 5 plus 12a, well none, neither of those are the same so far, and 12a and 4b, oh, I can't really see anything similar. Um, we've got the 5 and the 2 are both constants, so the negative 2, so they're the same, and we've only got, then we've got the a they are like terms as well. There is no like term for 4b. Right, now we have to rewrite the expression. So we can do 5 minus 2, remembering we're taking the minus 2, plus 12a minus 3a plus 4b. Okay, so then we can combine the like terms. So 5 minus 2 is 3. And plus 12a minus 3a is 9a plus 4b. All right, and that is our final answer. Now, what I want you to do is Practice this yourself by pausing the video and collecting the like terms, just like I did. Alright, so remembering the first step is identifying the like terms. So, I've got 13a 
plus 2a, they're like terms, and then the these two are like terms. All right, so I'm going to rewrite it. 13a plus 2a plus 8b minus 5b equals 13a plus 2a, 15a plus 8b minus 5b is 3b. That is our answer. Okay, hopefully you got the, this same answer. All right, next one, see if you can get this one correct. 12uv is the same as 3vu, even though they're round. Oops, I did it again. Do you see how easy it is to not include the addition or subtraction sign? I am even doing it myself. I'm telling you not to do it. All right, and then the other two are the same. All right, let's write it down. I'll write it down here so I don't get confused with the other one. Minus 3, and I'm going to write it UV, plus 7V, plus 3V, equals 12 minus 3, 9, UV, plus 7 plus 3 is 10, V. All right, and that is the answer. Good luck. Remember, don't do what Mrs. Ray does and forget the addition or subtraction sign.